Thank you so much. That was a wonderful, awesome presentation, ma'am. And uh, we were really enlightened by all the uh, points related to this preventive and social medicine. And definitely, I think not only as a student, this is going to help uh, in the academics, in the MCQs, but also as a human being. These are some important points which we have uh, got from this. Now, I would request... Uh, uh, that uh, Salman sir can take over and uh, go ahead with the uh, microbiology uh, part about this. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. And a very, very warm welcome to Salman sir and as well as to Ray sir here as well. Thank you, sir. Uh, good morning to all the esteemed faculties and to all the doctors who are already in practice and the ones who are going to be in practice soon enough. All right. So as you know, with the COVID situation, a lot of things are going on. And as Deepa ma'am has already, right, has given us a wonderful insight on the situation currently, right? We are expecting at least five questions on this, right? And uh, micro definitely would be important as per with all the subjects you're gonna cover here, okay? Now, regarding the treatments that we are gonna cover, you should understand one thing that none of the drugs so far are FDA approved but a lot of drugs are being tried right now, okay? And they have shown to be effective, but we cannot uh, promise anything because there are not a lot of studies. Okay, so right now I'm just gonna shut off my video and share my screen. So allow me to do that, sir. Okay, so as you see here, the coronaviruses, they are first of all positive sense single-stranded, non-segmented RNA viruses. Now, something that is very simple here is single-stranded. All RNA viruses are single-stranded except the Rio viruses that we have covered earlier. Okay, now we will shed some light on what is meant by this positive sense and who were the non-segmented RNA viruses that we have covered earlier. Okay, now this is a virus with an envelope and the envelope contains the peplomers which are petal or the club shaped, then gives it the shape of the solar corona. That's how it has gotten its name. So if you look now, solar corona, you can easily appreciate that in this electron microscopy picture, right? So these things that you're seeing over here, these are nothing but the petal shaped peplomers. Okay, now next thing, as I told you, this could be an MCQ for us, right? So segmented RNA viruses, who are considered as segmented RNA viruses. Bunia virus, it has three segments of RNA. Influenza virus, that comes under the ortho mix of viruses. Rio virus, and then arena virus. So you can simply remember it by the brand name uh, Bira for the beers, right? I'm sure all of you are aware of that. So Bira, you should remember these are the segmented RNA viruses. That means our corona is not a segmented virus. Okay, that's our first thing. Now, coming to what is meant by, okay, positive sense RNA versus the negative sense RNA viruses. So before I, you know, talk about that, I just want to tell you, like, if our body or the cells are making DNA out of the DNA, that would be called as replication. You're just copying that thing, right? DNA is being copied. DNA is making a DNA that's called as replication. And then from the DNA, if we make RNA, or to be more precise, mRNA, that would be called as transcription. And then you have the proteins made out of the RNA that would be known as translation. So I repeat, DNA to DNA is transcript, uh, I'm sorry, replication. DNA to RNA would be transcription. And then RNA to proteins would be translation. Now, some of the RNA viruses, they act like mRNA. That means they can be directly translated to proteins, right? So I'll just say this thing. Viruses are obligate intracellular organisms. That means they have to come and live inside our cells. So once they infect our cells, certain RNA viruses, they can directly start making proteins. Those viruses are called as positive sense. I repeat, the viruses that can make proteins directly, they are called as positive sense. They'll just use the host ribosomes and make protein. Negative sense, they will first have to convert to positive sense. 
then they can make the protein otherwise directly they cannot make the proteins so negative sense viruses they will carry an extra polymerase with them so first negative sense will convert to positive sense and then they can make the viral proteins so that's the idea about positive and the negative sense see so negative sense i told you they have to carry extra polymerases to technically replicate or to make proteins so who are the negative sense rna viruses see the mnemonic not only reminds you of the viruses that are negative sense but it also explains to you the uh, concept right the mnemonic is telling you the concept always bring polymerase or fail replication see this is clearly telling us if these viruses do not bring right the polymerase they cannot replicate so in short they cannot translate proteins so what are these viruses arena virus bunia virus paramyxo ordomyxo phylo phylo virus this is the family to which the ebola belongs to replication are for rhabdoviruses all right so let's solve one question here one or two questions i just told you uh, this is just like uh, the type of questions i'm expecting all of the following are negative sense rna viruses except what is the mnemonic i just told you always bring polymerase or fail replication so if you just even remember the mnemonic c doesn't fall into the mnemonic so the answer for this has to be coronavirus okay same way all of the following contain segmented rna except remember the mnemonic bira bira so you have the b i right and a here so coronavirus would also be the answer for this okay now moving on to about uh, the family of the coronaviruses called as corona virinae now although we have emphasized so much about the covid situation right now but there are a lot more coronaviruses that are actually present but the good thing is they don't generally affect the human beings so first of all what are the genera of the coronaviruses they classified into alpha beta delta gamma and the toro viruses so these are all nothing but the corona viruses only okay they mainly affect the animals as we said except the gamma that affects the birds okay the gamma family it affects the birds the human corona viruses hcov mainly belongs to alpha genera and then the beta genera i'm not going to read out everything but remember one thing the important ones that we all know like the sars cov or the mers cov or sars cov2 they all belong to the beta genera okay that is what is important for us i repeat so sars cov mers cov and sars cov2 they belong to the beta genera so sars was a disease that happened back in 2002 to 2003 okay the reservoirs for this was considered to be bats and they said that the civet cats probably was the route by which it has transmitted to human beings later on as all these are respiratory disorders human to human transmission was also seen okay h to h positivity mers happened somewhere around in 2012 and then we had cases going on for years so mers the reservoir again was bats and then it was probably transmitted by the camels so mers stands for middle eastern middle eastern respiratory syndrome right so the camels were thought to be the you know animals from which it spread to the human beings again h2s positivity was seen lastly we have the sars corona virus 2 which is currently named earlier when right it was diagnosed as the uh, new thing right it was named as the novel corona virus but now it's named as the sars cov2 and the disease caused by this as you all know is called as corona virus disease 19 okay so reservoir again is bats probably the snakes bats and the pangolins right these are the ways by which it might have spread to the human beings again right human to human uh, right transmission is positive now next if you look at the structure of this virus you all know there are two types of viruses naked viruses and the enveloped viruses naked viruses just have dna or rna plus a protein coat surrounding them which is called as a capsid right so genome plus capsid that is the word nucleocapsid whereas the enveloped viruses apart from having right the nucleocapsid they have a extra layer called as a envelope 
right? So just imagine they have like a double coating, nucleocapsid plus envelope, right? So this is what you should understand. And related to the micro point of view, you all know that envelope viruses are comparatively more susceptible or more sensitive to alcohols, et cetera. That is the reason they are advising us to wash our hands, et cetera, with sanitizers, which should contain at least 60% of alcohol. Okay, so that's the idea here. And as Deepa ma'am has already mentioned, for cleaning surfaces, you can use that alcohol or write 1% sodium hypochlorite. Fine. Now looking at the structure of this virus, right, the cut section. So the outermost area that you're seeing like the petal shaped, right, these are called as the spikes, S protein or simply spikes, S. Fine. This is what is giving it the shape of the corona as we have mentioned. Next. If you see these green colored things, these dots, these are called as the M protein, right? And then inside this, there is an envelope core, if you can see. Envelope is the outermost layer. Then you have the nucleocapsid inside. So you have the RNA surrounded by the N protein that codes for the nucleocapsid. Okay, so these are the important ones here. S protein, M protein, RNA is inside, and then right N protein. And just to remind yourselves, RNA virus here, right, this RNA, is non-segmented and it's a single-stranded positively sense RNA. Fine. And COVID-19, see, the transmission is through the respiratory droplets, that is coughing and sneezing. Contact with those droplets right later on by touching the surfaces, etc. And then the fomites. Fomites are nothing but the things that are used by the patients like clothes, bed sheets, etc. Right? Even those can spread this. Incubation period is again two to 14 days. Again, this is pretty important as you know, but most of them, they start showing symptoms by day five, six like that. The comorbidities that have been shown to increase the severity of the disease are cardiovascular diseases, very, very important, diabetes mellitus and hypertension. Okay, so this would be related to the micro part here. So handing over to Dr. Vineet, sir, that would be, uh, all from me. Once again, thank you so much, uh, Salman sir, for such a great, awesome presentation uh, demonstrating the structure of the entire virus and uh, uh, how it is a uh, uh, RNA virus and then uh, the uh, non-segmented and the mnemonics, uh, what you shared. I hope uh, these are definitely going to be of great help to our students. 